turns out, bacteria may have figured out how to use plastic as an energy source, and that might be a problem if you're full of plastic. This is actually pretty bad. We'll talk about it. As you may have heard, bacteria evolving to eat plastic has been touted as a potential solution to all of the plastic in the ocean. We just didn't think it would happen quite so close to home, and what the consequences of that might be in medicine. Yes, some bacteria that could cause catastrophic infections have been found to have genes that can degrade plastics. They did find lots of other medically relevant bacteria with homologs of that gene that can degrade plastic. It makes sense. We've had plastic around, and bacteria tend to evolve rather quickly. If they're learning to live around the environment we gave them, they're figuring it out. The only problem is that we use plastic for everything, including stuff that ends up in our own bodies. Now, it's not totally new. We always knew that plastic made a pretty good place to put a biofilm on. Unlike metals, which have characteristics that make it difficult for bacteria to live and grow in, we've always known that plastics made a pretty decent one. But degrading it and potentially using it as an energy source is a whole new ballgame. A lot of the stuff that's used in medicine Things like tubing or IVs. Even medical devices and implants use plastics. Bacteria, potentially very dangerous ones, eating through them is not generally good and could increase the risks of infections. Now, something we did know, medical implants of any kind can be a potential risk for a septic infection later on. Even the metal that I have in my foot when I've had reconstructive surgery is a potential infection risk. Being edible and potentially being a surface in which bacteria can grow on and form biofilms is definitely concerning. Also, it was not included, but I do wonder about it. Since we are chock full of microplastics and they're forming plaques in our brains and in our arteries and other places, if that could be a potential location that bacteria could congregate on and cause septic infection. Because people will always ask it, if they're eating plastic, does that mean that we could use it in our own bodies to break down microplastics? No. You do not want bacteria in your bloodstream. Bacteria in your bloodstream is sepsis. They won't stop at your blood. They'll eat everything else. Another one that comes up is, could we genetically engineer normal flora, stuff that lives in our guts, to eat plastic? But there could be other toxic byproducts that we never even considered accumulating in your body as a result of one fix. It's kind of like patching a leak with duct tape and hoping for the best. It might cause other problems. That would also assume that the only kind of plastic we get is dietary plastic. You know, I'm not totally against maybe even trying that. Why not? Why not just try the thing? It's a very human design. But yeah, plastic's being used everywhere, and only now finding out that it was actually really bad for us is not really a fixable thing. It's kind of like when we figured out lead was a problem, and then it was already everywhere because it was in our gasoline. Hey, Generation X and older, you guys grew up around lead. Now you get to live with the consequences of both lead and plastic.